The Morning Show starts right now with a breaking news alert. Breaking at 8.30, deadly crash in front of an apartment complex in Holiday Hill neighborhood. Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says it happened in front of the Boathouse apartment. And we just got an update in the last 20 minutes from JSO. One person is dead and another is in the hospital. Police say speed played a factor as a car crashed into a tree and a light pole. Crews are working to reopen the entrance to the apartment complex. Joining us right now is News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar, who is live at the scene. Aaron, explain to us the condition of the car. Right now, this car is on its roof. That's, that's an indication of how fast this person was driving at the time of this crash. The person lost control when trying to go around a curve here, ended up crashing into a light pole, a tree, and then flipped on its roof. We're going to let you know we're not going to show that car right now. Unfortunately, first responders are trying to remove the person who was killed in this crash from that car. So out of respect, we are not going to show that car. But take a look at the middle where you see the sign of the apartment complex. You see some of that debris? That's parts of the car. That's parts of the tree that person hit as well. You see, still see a lot of activity from JFRD, the medical examiners here, as well as JSO. Police say this all happened around 530 this morning. There were two people inside that car. It was a red Mazda. The person who was driving, police say, was driving uh, and was speeding at the time very fast. They didn't give an exact uh, detail of how fast they were going, but it was significant enough for that so that when they ended up losing control of the car, they ended up hitting a light, uh, a tree, and then flipping onto its roof. Police say one of the men was thrown from the car. That person is in a hospital right now with serious injuries. Another man was killed in that crash, and that person remains at the scene as first responders are trying to remove that person's body from the car right now. Police are still trying to determine who is actually driving the car. That's a part of this investigation right now. They're also trying to determine if there were more factors beyond speed, if there was alcohol or any drugs involved in this crash as well. Police say this marks the 48th traffic fatality in Duval County at this point in the year. Neither person in the car were wearing their seatbelts as well. That's a part of the investigation that uh, some details that were uh, re that were made known during a press conference. As this investigation continues, we'll be sure to share it with you both on air and online at newsforjax.com. But this part of Century 21 Drive will remain closed, at least the right lane for the time being. And we will provide updates as they become available. Reporting live. I'm Aaron Furrar, Channel 4, the local station.